everyone, it's Angela here from Cornerstone Auto and today I am going to show you the 2020 Ford Expedition. Now the Expedition was designed with durability, comfort, reliability, all while having an aggressive exterior and an inviting interior. Making our way to the front of the vehicle here, you will see that it is a nice blacked out aggressive look and that is part of the stealth appearance package. It has the blacked out grille with the blacked out rims, all while having minimal chrome. Now you do have your headlamps with your running daytime lights, and then you have a suite of safety features, including the 360 degree camera, which gives you four different camera angles. You have your front camera underneath the Ford emblem, as well as one on each of your side mirrors and one in the back. You also have your forward collision warning, your adaptive cruise control, rear parking sensors, and your backup camera, just to name a few. Now, all of the Expeditions for 2020 are powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, which gives you great fuel economy as well as the towing capacity. So we have three different trim levels in the Expedition. You have your Limited, XLT, and your Platinum. So today we are looking at the Limited, which is gonna be middle of the trim line, but you can see that it does give you quite a bit of luxury items. So as you see, when I open up the passenger side door here, we do have the power deploring running boards. And then we have a nice black on black interior with subtle red stitching found on the door as well as the seats. Now we do have the upgraded B&O audio system. And then you'll see that nice stitching located on those seats. Those seats are heated and ventilated as well as power adjusting. So they're very comfortable for your passengers. Now we do have the SYNC 3 system, which is plumb full of technology, so we're gonna to touch on all of that shortly. Taking a look at the second row here, before we get to that, I do wanna point out our Panorama Vista sunroof, so you're able to see that it adds some nice natural light into the vehicle. This second row is the captain's seat, so we have the two seats, which are options to have heated seats. The other option you have is the bench seat. Now you do have a couple different ways to access the third row. Obviously, just as it is, you are able to access it that way. Otherwise, you do have a lever up top here that folds it up and you can slide it forward for easier access. We also have some just different adjustments that can be made on the second row seat. You are able to fold it flat and then you are able to also slide it forward and back. Now in the center there, you do have all of the information for the radio as well as the heated seat buttons and the climate control. Making our way to the back of the Expedition here. You do have a couple different ways to access your cargo back here. One of those is going to be only by moving the glass. So you have the unlock there and that folds up. Otherwise, you do have the automatic um, tailgate. As you can see, there is some cargo space, but if you are looking for more cargo space, we do have the max configuration available. Taking a look down here in some of the storage area, you have your jack plus a little bit of storage down here. Now with this third row seat, you do have the option to automatically fold those down by pushing the buttons located on the side here. So you're able to push it and both of the seats will fold down for third row. It also will pull up both of the seats and then for second row, you are able to push the button as well and they only fold down the second row seats though. With those folded down, you will see that there are buttons located on both of the sides and that's to power uh, recline your seats for the third row as well as each side has a USB outlet. Making our way over to the wheels here. This is 22 inch wheels. They are painted black aluminum as part of that stealth package, but there are other wheel configurations available. Just taking a look at the power deploying running boards for you, as well as what it looks like with your second row fully flat. I wanna point out the key here. So this is um, a key that allows you, it's a smart key so you can gain access to the doors from three feet away. You also have your automatic start as well as the button to open your tailgate. Now with the driver's side here, you have your keyless entry pad as well as your blind spot information. On the driver's side here, you have memory seats available for up to three drivers as well as power folding mirrors. 
And then taking a look at the left of the steering wheel, the little button on the far left is a button to fold down the headrest in the third row so that you have better visibility, as well as the tailgate button. Below that, you have the electronic parking brake, as well as the controls for the power adjusting pedals. Now, just like the passenger side, the driver's side is heated and ventilated while being power adjusted. So here we are on the inside of the 2020 Ford Expedition. We are in the limited trim level, so we do have some nice upgrades that we're gonna touch on as we go through. One of those upgrades we do have is the sunroof, which I touched on earlier. We also have our perimeter alarm and the auto dimming rear view mirror. Now, just above our SYNC 3 system here, you do have quite a few buttons. You have your hill descent button, your traction control, your lane departure warning, the ability to turn off your auto start stop feature as well as the camera for your 360 degree view and then you can see that one you also have a few other views available now taking a look at our sync 3 system this little house gets you to your home screen so you're able to start on the front you're able to connect your phone as well as having your button for your heated steering wheel you have your audio information your climate controls the ability to connect a phone and then in the app screen here, you're able to find and download mobile apps. And then in your settings, you have your Bluetooth, your navigation, mobile apps, uh, your Ford Pass Connect. So this is an app that you can download on your smartphone as well that it gives you the ability to turn off and um, to start and stop your vehicle, to locate your vehicle, as well as to lock and unlock. It also gives different service tips and service bulletins for the service on your vehicle. You also have your Wi-Fi mode, and then this is equipped with the navigation. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Down below that, you have the hard buttons for your radio, as well as the ability to turn off your screen fully. We have something called Tri-Zone Climate Control in the Expedition. That includes your passenger and driver side, which you locate up here, and then you do have the third zone, which is located in back. You have your heated and ventilated seat buttons. And then down below that is going to be your wireless charging station, which is available for compatible phones as well as a few extra outlets. And then you have your rotary shifter with the manual, trans, uh, manual option to do some of your own shifting with your plus and minus. And then you have it in two wheel drive right now, but four wheel drive is available. And then you have a variety of different drive modes. So you have your normal, your eco, sport, tow haul, mud and ruts, sand, and then your grass, gravel, and snow. And behind your drive mode is going to be the um, parallel park feature as well as the ability to turn off your parking sensors. Now in the center console, you do have the option of a small computer or even some files. So if you are wanting to use this for a work vehicle, you do have some nice storage. Taking a look at our steering wheel here, you have the buttons for your SYNC 3 system here, as well as your voice command and phone buttons. And then over here, you have your adaptive cruise control. Now these buttons control your driver information center. So up there, we're looking at the My View, which is the ability to customize your um, screens. So you have the off-road status right now, fuel economy and trip information. And then tabbing through, you have your trip and fuel information, vehicle information, towing status and towing information, off-road, and then your safety settings. So we just went through all of the things for the 2020 Expedition. We have a great variety on our lots. We have the three different trim levels with a multitude of packages. So we're really able to deck out your vehicle or get you something a little bit more basic. If you have questions, wanna take one for a test drive, if I missed anything, give us a call at 763-441-2300. And don't forget to check us out at cornerstoneauto.com.